Good evening. I am Commander Atul Kumar Rohatgi speaking to you. I am speaking to you on behalf of ISRE Institute of Excellence. We have, as we told you earlier, we have started a series of talks which is called HVAC Talks. The first one is focused on psychrometry and this is the second part of that particular series. Today we are going to talk about another psychrometric parameter which is called wet bulb temperature WBT. Wet bulb temperature is that temperature which is measured with the help of a simple thermometer whose bulb has been covered with a wet cloth and when the thermometer has been exposed to moving air for around 3 to 4 minutes in, in that duration the temperature falls and when the temperature becomes stable we read that and that particular temperature is called, called wet bulb temperature. There is a particular instrument which is called psychrometer. Psychrometer has got, uh, is a device on which two in number simple thermometers are mounted. On one of them there is an attachment which allows us to put a wet cloth and means to keep it wet. We uh, take that this particular psychrometer and swing it in the air for around 3 to 4 minutes, 5 minutes and keep taking measurements. When the temperature becomes stable, that particular temperature is called wet bulb temperature. WBT being temperature, it can be measured in degrees centigrade, in degrees Kelvin and in degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, take that this particular psychrometer and swing it in the air for around 3 to 4 minutes, 5 minutes and keep taking measurements. When the temperature becomes stable, that particular temperature is called wet bulb temperature. WBT being temperature, it can be measured in degrees centigrade, in degrees Kelvin and in degrees Fahrenheit. WBT being temperature, it can be measured in degrees centigrade, in degrees Kelvin and in degrees Fahrenheit. On the psychrometric chart, the wet bulb temperature looks like on the psychrometric chart, the position of the wet bulb temperature scale is here. The, the scale is here and we can read the values of wet bulb temperature on this scale. Sometimes because this is a curved scale, sometimes reading the temperature on this becomes difficult. And in such a case, we can drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. On the x-axis we have dry bulb temperature and while talking about dry bulb temperature I have explained that if I draw a line which is vertical all the points on this particular line will be at the same temperature. Similarly therefore this particular point will also be at the same temperature and in case if we are finding it difficult to read this we can draw a line perpendicular to the x-axis and we can read the value here and here it will be easier to read it. The next thing that we need to talk about, we need to understand is where is the wet bulb temperature constant wet bulb temperature lines? Where are those lines? How do we read this? On the psychrometric chart, there are some lines, dark lines which are drawn like this. These lines are constant wet bulb temperature lines. These lines are constant wet bulb temperature lines. So if I have a point here and I want to know what is the wet bulb temperature, uh, temperature at this particular point, what I need to do is that I need to draw a line that is parallel to these constant wet bulb temperature lines. And this point of intersection will tell me what is the wet bulb temperature at this particular point. In case if I have been given a particular dry bulb temperature, and a particular wet bulb temperature and we are supposed to plot it this particular point what we need to do is that we will first read value x here we will draw a line that is perpendicular on this particular point so now my desired point will be somewhere on this particular vertical line and WBT being Y, we will read where is this Y. Let's say that this is the value of Y. And at this particular point, I will draw a line that is parallel to these constant wet bulb temperature lines. 
all these points on this particular inclined line will be at the same metabolic temperature. And this particular point is going to fulfill all both these requirements. That is the drive-out temperature will be X because this point is on this vertical line and wet bulb temperature will be Y because this point is on this inclined line. Wet bulb temperature is industrially very important. There are a number of equipments <coughs> whose minimum temperature is decided by the wet bulb temperature of ambient air at that particular moment of time. For example, a desert cooler, the lowest temperature at which a, low, a desert uh, cooler can provide us air is the wet bulb temperature at that particular moment of, of ambient air. Similarly, an air washer which is industrially used, the lowest temperature at which an air washer can give us air is once again the wet bulb temperature. And talking about cooling towers, the lowest temperature at which a cooling tower can provide us water is the wet bulb temperature. However, let's understand that this is the theoretical lowest temperature that these equipments can provide us air or water at. Normally, the equipments will have certain amount of inefficiency and the temperature at which we will get air or water will be slightly higher than the wet bulb temperature. Once again, I invite you to subscri subscribe to our channel to know more about HVAC. As you know that this series is about psychometry and we have, this is the second, second in that series. We will be making many more <coughs> videos so that these terms are easily understood by you all. And in case if you want to know the complete thing and much more about HVAC in order to be able to join this field or if you are already working in this particular area then to move up higher in your career do join us for either online course or offline course at Israel Institute of Excellence. Thank you.